Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Welcome to Matibay class. And we are down to our last three topics. Yes, ang bilis. Last three topics, ibig sabihin nun, patapos na rin po ang ating semester. semester. Diba ibig sabihin excited? nun sa mga anak natin dyan na alam niya na wala pa siyang mga activity sheets, wala pa siyang mga major performance tasks, ang tanging gagawin niyo lamang po, ay huwag nang umasa. A <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> I-approach nyo lang po si Sir Jason or si Ma'am Tintin. Oo okay. naman. Wala naman tayong ibabagsak basta nakikita natin at nararamdaman natin sila. na ang lahat ng anak natin sa Matibay class ay nag effort Congratulations in advance sa kaka-excite. At congratulations din sa'yo Ma'am Tintin. Why? Kasi nga, ang ganda ng feedback ng mga bago mong hawak na students. Oo naman, akala ko dahil <laughs> ang ganda ng ating template for PowerPoint. And nagpapashoutout po ang buong STEM 1, 2, 3, and 4 ng Dagupan City. Wow, hello everyone! I think yukang na shoutout ko na yung mga anak ko dati. Hmm, yukang main, sa inyo lahat. STEM 1, 2, 3, and 4 mga anak, napakaganda ng ating unang linggo. Oo, oh, din. Diba, Saksi ako doon. Saksi ka doon. Oo, napakakukulit, pero gusto-gusto natin yun. Yes. Okay, so let's move on to our module 24. 24. It's all about hypothesis testing for population proportions. Pareho lang yan ng isa. Parang naulit na. Pareho Hindi. lang. Pareho lang. Papalitan lang natin yung formula ng population proportions. Yes. Form. Okay, so for this topic, Wow! wow. <laughs> Ang haba pala ng ano na yan. For this topic, we have objectives. One, or una, is to distinguish test of hypothesis for population proportion. And of course, the second is to perform hypothesis testing for population proportion. <laughs> okay, so yung dalawang yan, ang ating... Ang haba ng ating slide ngayon. <laughs> Oo, ang haba. So take note! Okay, alam na nila yan. Sabi na nga, sabi do, na natin, is papalitan, is papalitan lang, lang natin yung mu or yung mean ng p. Okay, and that's it. Yun. Okay. And, para mas maintindihan, let's, let's proceed, proceed on our examples. examples. Okay, let's consider this problem. The president of a university is in need of an academic vice president and wants the approval of more than 50% of the faculty for his candidate. He wants his statistical significance and the absolute value. Wow. Out of 120 randomly selected faculty members, 55 approved. Is this sufficient to appoint the candidate? Use a 0.05 level of significance. Okay, guys, ang sinabi ko, we will be using the same steps. We, since sa binasa ni Sir Jason kanina na problem, our statement is greater than doubt, tama? Greater yes. than 50%. 50%. So, gagamitin Therefore, natin, we have greater than... 50% or 50% is also 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So we will be Take note, 0 .5. mga anak, kapag sinabi nating ha, it is alternative hypothesis. At kapag sinabing uh, alternative hypothesis, there is a significant relationship, relationship about the problem. the problem. Okay. Null, there is no significant relationship. We can use or pwede equal. natin sabihin it is equal to 0. 5 or 50%. 50%. Next, second step, identify the level of significance. It's stated then sa problem that our level of significance is 0 0.05. Appropriate test statistics. Meron po ba siyang nabanggit na direction, sir? O wala? Yes, meron, ma'am. The meron word more than. na direction, so we will be using one, one tailed. Tailed. Take note, mga anak, ah. One tailed siya. Bakit? Test. Meron po siyang direction or directional siya. Yes. Next is? Using the table. Okay. We are going to determine the critical region using our table. So, we have 0 0.05, one-tailed siya. So, gagamitin natin si 1.645. Our critical region is 1.645. Ang liwanag ng mama. Yeah. Go. Ayan, fourth step, compute for the values ng ating population proportion. This will be our formula. Kung kanina ang ginamit natin is yung mas maikling formula, gagamitin naman natin to. Babalikan natin si P hat. P -hat. Yung P hat natin, formula for P hat is P hat is equal to X all over N. Number based, of success all yes, over some Yes, based dito sa problem natin, our number of success is 
55. Tama po ba? Oh, and our number of N is sample size is 120. 120. So, 55 divided by 120 is 55 divided by 120 is ayan, 4 point Zero point Ay, four. mali naman ako. 120 is 0. Point. Isulat ko ba lahat? Hindi ma'am. Ano lang? Um, apat. Di ba? 0. 0.4583. So, ito po ang gagamitin natin for P hat. Since meron ng P hat, hanapin naman natin si P sub O at saka si N. Our P sub 0 is 50%, 50 or 0. 0.05 and our Sample 0 .5 size lang is... 0.5 lang. Sorry, 0 0.5. Kasi 50%. And our sample size is 120. Let's now substitute. Z is equal Ma to... Ma'am, emphasize mo muna yung P sub O. Okay, 0 0.5 siya. Bakit? Because on our problem, it is 50%. 50% ang hinihingi. Again, 50% is also 0 0.5. So, Z is P hat 0 0.5. 4583 minus ilan ang ating p sub 0 0 0.5 all over square root of our p sub 0 0 0.5 multiplied to 1 is constant kasama po siya sa formula minus 0 0.5 all over our n is 120 Kung papaano ko siya sinulat, ganun din ang pagkakatype sa calculator. Let's input 0 0.4583 minus 0 0.5 all over square root at fraction sa loob. So, 0 0.5, 1 minus 0 0.5, close parenthesis para hindi mag syntax error, 120 is equal to... Negative, tama. Negative 0 0.9145. Z is equal to negative 0 0.9136. Ito po ang ating na-solve for Z. Next. Yan, we are going to decide now whether to accept or reject. Ho, sabi natin kanina, in deciding, babalik tayo kay... Step 3, i-compare natin sila. Sabi niya kanina... Greater than ito, ma'am. 1.645. Ito. J is, is greater, greater than, than 1. Bakit greater than? Dahil ang ha natin ay greater than. Nasolve na natin si Z, tama? Mm -mm. So, pwede natin siyang isulat as negative 0 0.9136 greater than 1.645. Is yes this no? statement true or false? False. False. Napakalinaw na mas malaki ang 1.645 kumpara dito, tama? So, no so, this statement is false. Ibig sabihin, since false yan, ire-reject natin si... Ha. Ha. So, this will be... Rejected. rejected. Accept, this will be... Accepted. accepted. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa fifth step natin, accept... Ho. Ho. Reject And ha. reject... Ha. I hope malinaw po tayo doon. And syempre, for conclusion, Since in mo si Ho, Since in mo si Ho, ia-accept natin si Ho. Ibig sabihin, Yung Ho natin kanina ma'am ay? Equal to 50%. Okay, accepted siya. Yung 50% or 0 0.5 is accepted as, Anong tawag approved. doon? Accepted or <laughs> approved. Approved. <laughs> approved. Sufficient pala. And sufficient. <laughs> to appoint the candidate. <laughs> to appoint a candidate. The candidate. candidate. Ibig sabihin, kapag nakalahati ng vote ay nagsabi ng yes, ibig sabihin, accepted na yon or sufficient na yon oh. para i-hire yung next na vice president. president. Oh, ang liwaliwanag, ma'am. So, for <laughs> any question, mga anak ko, regarding those topics, alam nyo naman na lagi lang kami nandito ni Ma'am Tintin. And for topic, module 24, mga anak, kagaya ng ating in-announce, meron po kayong dyan. quiz regarding this topic. At Sobrang ito po ay sa link. Sir. Okay, Google Form. Mag-goodbye ka na ma'am, goodbye. Bye-bye everyone. Have Thank a nice so day much. again mga anak. Mag-aral mabuti.
laging tatandaan na kayang-kaya nyo yan dahil, dahil hashtag weather, weather lang. matibay grabe naman ang gulo-gulo mo matibay. hashtag <laughs> matibay, matibay na matibay tayo. ka yes.